All right, in case you're wondering, that's the Polish national anthem. <clears throat> because uh, the Poles are now fighting in Ukraine in massive numbers, uh, according to reports that I'm seeing. Uh, uh, so they have entered the war uh, on the behalf of NATO. Uh, so wonderful to hear that uh, as the war expands. Uh, so uh, they're in Ukraine now. And, 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 and by the way, the, uh, the reports are, it's, it, well, it's a lot of it's from the Russians that they're hearing uh, the uh, radio traffic uh, going across the uh, radios that uh, it's all in Polish now, <laughs> rather than Ukrainian. So I guess that now that the Russians have destroyed the uh, Ukrainian forces, for the most part, uh, or, or continue to do so, uh, now the Poles are in there and uh, they're going to start dying by the thousands. Uh, so we'll, we'll see them, the bodies return into Poland uh, here shortly. Uh, but uh, here's here's what you got. Uh, oh, by the way, this was an uh, interesting number. 10 million Ukrainians uh, have been processed or are in Poland. So the country is, uh, just like the United States, is just uh, being crushed by the uh, influx of the globalists. Uh, you know, just like Biden wants the whole world to move to the United States and, and has an open border because that's what the Democrats want. Uh, the warmongering Democrats, let's just add. Uh, boy, I tell you, I've never seen a political party that wants war more than the Democrats do. So uh, so right now, uh, the Dutch, uh, the Polish, uh, Estonia, and of course the British are providing air power uh, to, to Ukraine. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, that this blew me away, that traitor Millie. <laughs> oh my God. He actually said this is a senseless waste of human life. I, I would have never expected that to come from the traitor Millie. Of course, Austin's over there uh, promoting the war in every way, shape, and fashion. So, um, uh, well, the, and this was an interesting one. Uh, it was in Germany, the Greens. Uh, they're supposed to be a pacifist uh, party in, in, uh, in Germany, but no, nope, no, nope, they're the war party in Germany. They are all for the war they want the leopard tanks going to uh, Ukraine. Uh, there's still some resistance on that, by the way. I was surprised. I thought for sure that uh, Germany would send those tanks to Ukraine. Uh, of course, uh, I think that the D.C. Uh, Democrat warmongers will twist their arm and uh, uh, we'll see. I uh, think that'll probably um, send the uh, tanks and everything. Um, Anyway, uh, the, 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 oh yeah, well, I, I put this note in here. The, oh, this was uh, from the, um, uh, that, that speech that Laz, Lazarov, is that his name? I can't remember. I, I got it written down here. Anyway, he gave a speech and uh, he said, the bear will crush Ukraine. Russia is the most powerful nuclear nation in the world, in the world. And that's true. That is absolutely true. So he's predicting that, that they will crush NATO crush the West, uh, crush the United States uh, as we are in World War III. Um, this was interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we knew about this, but I thought I'd uh, go back on this because in his speech, he said the UK and the US uh, nixed the peace in uh, late eight, March and April because uh, Russia was trying to get peace at that time. Um, and so as a result, uh, the Ukraine is being leveled to the ground, which <laughs> if you look at the photographs or the satellite images, I mean, it, it literally is being turned to dust. Uh, the cities, uh, the buildings are gone. Uh, and, uh, and this is this is what NATO wanted. This is what the warmongering Democrats, this is the warmongering Democrats as a, a total party. Uh, that's is, This is what they wanted. And of course, some neocon uh, Republicans. Uh, I just can't believe they, they just want to see Ukraine utterly destroyed. But that's the... Uh, and then, of course, he did say, this was interesting, and I, I, I agree with this. He says, we are seeing the death of the U.S. empire. It's becoming a multipolar world uh, in his speech. Um, that was very interesting. The, uh, this, the next thing was, uh, oh, this was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I, I can't pronounce these Russian names. Y-E-V-G-E-N, Wagny Brigzonen. Uh, okay, he's the leader of the Wagner Group, and I did a video on that. Uh, he actually sent, well, through Telegram, uh, he sent a letter to uh, John Kirby, uh, that uh, criminal uh, that we have uh, 
uh, in the White House uh, serving for uh, the criminal Biden, um, he sent a letter to him. <laughs> and it, uh, what is it? What, what did he say? I was trying to, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, he questioned the, uh, the threat because basically the United States says they're going to sanction the, uh, the, uh, uh, mercenaries that which is what the Wagner group is in 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 Ukraine I, I don't know oh yeah here it is dear mr. Kirby could you please clarify what crime uh, what war what crime was committed by the PMC Wagner <laughs> and he said Signed it with his name. I just thought, dear Mr. I'm going to repeat that. Dear Mr. Kirby, could you please clarify what crime was committed by PMC Wagner? Because uh, they're just, you know, basically they're fighting a war in, in Ukraine. So I guess uh, he, he put that question to John Kirby. Because uh, basically the uh, Wagner group questions U.S. over fresh sanctions. U.S. classifies Russian mercenaries as criminal. Criminal. Uh, so, um the uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is uh, that we are in a 100 year cycle. Um, so if you recall, uh, back in 1929, uh, we had the Spanish flu, uh, uh, which is what it was kind of called back then. It didn't come from Spain, but anyway. Uh, so we're we're basically rinse and repeat, right? Rinse and repeat. History repeats itself. Uh, you know, back then the, there was massive uh, printing of money, so. You know, I keep telling you, you're going to have the stock market crash. You're going to have a Great Depression. I hope you're preparing accordingly. I've certainly tried to help you, you know, buy, buy food, buy, uh, uh, you know, spend money now because it's going to be worthless and, and buy assets. I've been telling you to buy assets, silver, gold, platinum, real estate. Well, real estate, not right now. I mean, it's going to come down. It's going to come down immensely. And this will be an opportunity. I plan to buy some farmland um when this when this whole thing turns around and this is the last thing that i'll finish with i thought this was freaking hilarious <laughs> so i didn't even know kamala harris is here in the free 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 state of florida and uh so she visited a venezuelan restaurant now if you're familiar with uh florida we have a lot of cubans and venezuelans here uh, that have experienced uh, the communism, which is, you know, you, you, the Democrat Party is a communist Marxist party, that's for sure. And so they want nothing to do with the Democrats. That's why we are a total Republican state here. And uh, so anyway, he visited this restaurant and, uh, and he got a lot of backlash. And they said, uh, oh, my God. So he came out with a public statement and said, Kamala Harris is not welcome in his restaurant <laughs> anymore. He, he never wants to see her again. Uh, anyway, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, you have to watch that. It was a liberal hive mind on, vit, on uh, YouTube. Uh, he was the one who did all that. So anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I, I don't know if I come up with anything else. Uh, oops, sorry, Pooh. Uh, there is some huge progress uh, in the war. I mean, uh, the, the territory that uh, Russia has taken is, is progressing at a much more rapid pace at this point um, from what I'm seeing. Uh, I think that the uh, Ukrainian defense, or well, the Polish defense, I guess, at this point. <laughs> well, Polish, uh, what did I say? Uh, Polish, NATO, Finland, uh, all the troops that are over there now. Uh, it, it, so Russia is still continuing their, their inexorable march across uh, Ukraine, oh, Estonia, here we go, Dutch, Polish, Estonians, and British, uh, they're all, they're all there now fighting on behalf of Ukraine, Ukraine, and uh, we'll see whether uh, uh, Germany sends those leopard tanks, and uh, you know, you know, that's not going to do anything for the war, but it's all symbolic, uh, because this will mean that uh, Germany is estranged from Russia permanently, even though we blew up the pipeline so that they couldn't get the cheap fuel from Russia no more. Um, so we'll see where all this whole, whole thing goes. Watching the world burn, baby. Watching the world burn. I think, what is it today? January 20th, 2023. That's it. Peace out. Stay free. Good, good, good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida. Even though Kamala Harris is here, I think she's not welcome. <laughs> and and uh, stay free. Uh, good to live under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.